What is the difference between a set and a dictionary in Python? In Python, a set is a collection of unique and unordered elements, whereas a dictionary is a collection of key-value pairs, where each key is associated with a corresponding value. Sets are primarily used for mathematical operations, such as union, intersection, and difference, whereas dictionaries are used for mapping values to keys for easy and efficient retrieval of data. How do you import a module in Python? To import a module in Python, you can use the import statement followed by the name of the module you want to import. For example, to import the math module, you can use the following code, import math. This makes all the functions and variables defined in the math module available in your current Python program. You can then use them by referring to their names with a dot notation, like math.py or math.sqrt. How do you install a package in Python? You can install a package in Python by using the pip package installer in the command prompt or terminal. Here's the command pip install package underscore name. Replace package underscore name with the name of the package you want to install. How do you create a virtual environment in Python? To create a virtual environment in Python, use the vend module that comes with Python 3. The basic command to create a virtual environment is Python 3m vend myenv. Replace myenv with the name you want to give to your virtual environment. This command will create a new directory with the given name, which contains all the files necessary to activate the virtual environment. To activate the virtual environment, you can run source myenv slash bin slash activate. What is the purpose of the number py package in Python? Number py is a Python package that provides support for large, multidimensional arrays and matrices, along with a collection of mathematical functions to operate on these arrays. The purpose of number py is to facilitate numerical computing in Python by providing fast and efficient operations on arrays and matrices, making it a popular tool for scientific and data-intensive applications. What is a number py array? A number py array is a data structure in the number py library that represents a grid of values, all of the same data type, indexed by a tuple of non-negative integers. It is a commonly used data structure for scientific computing and data analysis in Python. What is the difference between a list and a number py array? A list is a built-in Python data structure that can contain elements of different data types and can be resized, whereas a number py array is a data structure provided by the number py library that can contain elements of a single data type and has a fixed size. Number PY arrays are optimized for mathematical operations and are more efficient for numerical computations than lists. How do you create a number PY array? You can create a number PY array in Python by calling the numpy.array function and passing a sequence, e.g. a list or tuple, as an argument. For example, import numpy as np. arr equals np.array 1, 2, 3. This will create a number py array with the values 1, 2, 3. You can also create arrays of specific shapes and data types using other number py functions like numpy.zeros, numpy.ones, numpy.full, and numpy.arrange. How do you access elements in a number py array? You can access elements in a number py array by specifying the index of the element within square brackets, like this, array underscore name, index. For example, to access the first element of a one-dimensional array called my underscore array, you would use my underscore array zero. What is the shape of a number py array? The shape of a number py array refers to the size of each dimension of the array and is represented as a tuple of integers. For example, a one-dimensional array with five elements would have a shape of five, while a two-dimensional array with three rows and four columns would have a shape of three, four. How do you reshape a number py array? The number py function for reshaping an array is reshape. To use it, simply call reshape on the array you want to reshape and provide the desired new shape as a tuple. For example, to reshape a 1D array of length 10 into a 2D array with 5 rows and 2 columns, you can do import numpy as np. arr equals np.array 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
nu underscore arr equals arr reshape 5 2 the resulting nu underscore arr will have the shape 5 2 it's important to note that the total number of elements in the original array must be equal to the total number of elements in the reshaped array, otherwise a value error will be raised. What is broadcasting in number PY? Broadcasting in number PY is a mechanism that allows for arithmetic operations between arrays with different shapes, without the need to make copies or change the shape of the original arrays. It works by automatically aligning the shapes of the arrays and repeating elements as necessary to perform the operation. This can greatly simplify code and make it more efficient. What is a universal function, ufunc, in number py? A universal function, or ufunc, is a function in number py that operates on arrays element-wise, performing fast vectorized operations. It can take one or more input arrays and produces an output array as a result. Ufunks are essential to NumPy's performance and are implemented in C, making them much faster than iterating through arrays element by element in Python. What is the purpose of the pandas package in Python? The purpose of the pandas package in Python is to provide data manipulation and analysis tools, particularly for working with tabular data. What is a pandas series? A pandas series is a one-dimensional labeled array in Python, which can hold data of any type integer, float, string, etc. It is similar to a column in a spreadsheet or a database table and is often used as a building block for more complex data structures such as a pandas data frame. What is a pandas data frame? A pandas data frame is a two-dimensional tabular data structure consisting of rows and columns similar to a spreadsheet or SQL table. It is a primary data structure used in the pandas library for data manipulation and analysis in Python. How do you access columns in a pandas data frame? You can access columns in a pandas data frame by using bracket notation and passing the column name as a string, like this, df, column underscore name. Alternatively, you can also use dot notation if the column name is a valid Python identifier, like this, df dot column underscore name. How do you access rows in a pandas data frame? To access rows in a pandas data frame, you can use the dot lock or dot iloc attribute followed by the index or label of the row you want to access. For example, df.lock3 will return the row with index label 3, while df.iloc3 will return the row with index position 3. How do you filter rows in a pandas data frame? You can filter rows in a pandas data frame by using Boolean indexing. For example, you can create a Boolean mask by specifying a condition that you want to filter on, and then use that mask to select only the rows that meet the condition. Here's an example. Import pandas as pd. Bash. Hashtag create a data frame. df equals pd data frame. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, b, five six seven eight hashtag create a boolean mask based on a condition mask equals df a uh, two hashtag filter the data frame using the boolean mask filtered underscore df equals df mask print filtered underscore df css a b two three seven three four eight in this example, we create a Boolean mask based on the condition that column is greater than 2. We then use this mask to filter the original data frame and create a new data frame that only contains the rows where this condition is true. Thanks for watching. For more information like comment and subscribe our channel.